Hello, I've just received the collector issue 124 summer 2020 and it's from Hornby and it's celebrating 100 years of Hornby and it's got the scenery Hornby logo there as well. Iris is here, newly tooled XGWR262 and even says about building your own box file layout. Let's take a look at what we've got inside. Got about the Hornby magazine, an advert from them. Got the contents, 36. Versatile, large, that's a nice black and white photo there. It is the versatile large primaries. Oh yeah, we've got the rocket there. Legacy of a legend. Got the news, I'll read a bit about the welcome. It says this six weeks initially suggested the for lockdown has long passed and as I write these notes we are 13 weeks in but at least there are green shoots of optimism and COVID-19 is included restrictions are starting to be eased although this has proved to be good news for model shops openly who are once again able to trade it has come rather late for the majority of model railway exhibition organisers who have had no choice other than to cancel their 2020 shows and amid too much uncertainty. I believe that people need hope to pull them through times of adversity and for those who haven't seen grandchildren or friends for a quarter of a year or more. The chance to reunite with one other brings just the kind of hope, the opening of caravan sites, the chance for those with second homes to be able to visit them all bring hope to the chance to escape for what many has been claustrophobic confines at home. For railway enthusiasts that a row of hope needed to stick with it will come with the reopening of the preserved steam heritage lines later in the summer. Although the operator conditions will be challenging to ensure government guidance are followed, steam and heritage diesels will return soon, although some of the least well resourced operators it may be too late. That's a bit of it. That's from Paul Appleton, the editor. Uh, celebration time. 2020 has been a time for celebrations for though, for everyone associated with Formby and its loyal customers and that will continue for the remainder of the year. This issue of the collector coincides with the exact anniversary in July halfway through the year so what's been happening and what is there to look forward to. I'll read a bit of it. The range of limited edition 100 anniversary models have been gradually rolled out each month with the latest to arrive being the Pug O, 4 O, O S T, Smoky Joe, representing the 1980s. I already got the Smoky Joe, but not this version. Although there has been some delays in production in China due to COVID-19, models in the range are now virtually on schedule. With the trying Hornby retro model of the 9 F2 10 Zero, number nine. 2220 Evening Star. I've also got that one already, but not this model, but not this version. Representing the 1970s, the next of these models due to arrive. I know it's the uh, NHS livery competition where you, uh, you could design and like a thank you for the NHS and then, and then they'd, they'd do it out for you. So that was. So that was that. And I was from Corgi. You can get some the Hornby Century Bristol Lock Kia or double decker buses arriving winter 2020. Legacy of a legend. Stevenson's Rocket represent a watershed in locomotive development, setting the benchmark for all future steam locomotive designs right up to number 60163. Tornado, which I've also got a model of in 2008. Paul Oz joined Anthony Collins Senior 
Creator of Rail Transport and Technology at the Rail Museum York to discuss the legendary of the Icon's theme. Been there once or twice, but not for a few years now. Nice little black and white photo there at the bottom there. Several replicas have been built for a rocket over time. This one for the Henry Ford Museum in 1929. Nice black and white photos there. Rocket is delivered to the Science Museum in London above by Pickford criteria 1964 and below is eased into the building having been loaded off by crane. There's a nice painting. Ride up across the Snacky Valley by Thomas Talbot Bury 1931 taken from coloured version of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. An interesting black and white photo there. Rocket in March 1976. Note the wheels, the solid wheels. Oh yeah, looks like the wheels are normally not solid. That is that photo there. That's interesting. That's the see there. Two versions you can buy. You can buy a centenary rocket version, which I was tried to get, but I couldn't. So I ended up buying that version. Just like the non centenary version, that's it, just there. I've got another two carriages, but and all the carriages look exactly the same as that one. The only difference is that they've got different names on them, but just to show you mine quickly. And it is actually a working model, I'll give a link below if you want to see it working. And then you've got like perfect partners, Hornby, Scaledale, all different types of buildings and platforms, stations, engine sheds, good sheds, water towers, things like that. You can buy Oxford structures. Again, you know, like signal boxes and stations and things like that. So if you want the buildings for your layout, that's who to go for. Either Hornby, Scaledale or Oxford structures. Bring a big diesel to life, basically showing you how to get a diesel to working again. A more interesting steam locos. And it's about the end of the magic of Harry Potter. It's like a, I think it's, it's not a proper set, it's like a drilled one. So it's battery powered and the track is plastic. So I don't you know if it says it's ready to play track, so it's more of a toy than a model, really. Trip on the Abaddonian, that's an, an A2. Got quite a lot of nice black and white photos. Sometimes black and white photos can be more powerful than a colour photo. With long shadows forming on the sun starts to go down on the west. The A2462 number 605258 Peppercorn heads up the Aberdeenian at Port of Lengthen, just north of Stone Heaven, having departed at Aberdeen at 7.30 on the 25th July 1965. Gresley's P2282 number 2002 Earl of, can't say some of these words, Mark Seal turned on the turntable. One of Ian Lamb's favourite A2s, number 60532, Blue Peter, parts from Perth with the 1030 Aberdeen to Glasgow. They must have named it after that yeah, famous children's television programme to call it Blue Peter. Delta number 55011, Royal Northumberland, Edinburgh, Waverley. And there's a tornado, new build sensation LNER. Class A1462, number 60163 Tornado, emerges from Carlton Tunnel. I've got the Tornado, but not the real one, of course, only the model version. There must be an electric train which just behind it, because you can see some pentagraphs, and I don't, just there. Steam engines don't have pentagraphs, <laughs> unless it's a new feature. <laughs> More about diesel locos, I'd like how to look after it. Digital command. Control. Beacon of Delight. The old Brecon Mavis Railway lives on Albert in a now gay form as Ian Lamb discovers when he witnessed the under dueling Brecon Mountain Railway for himself. I like these old black and white photos. Last day of Newport to Brecon service of XGWR Pannier Tank number 4679 on the 803. Northport Brecon breaks to take water at Paint Station on 29 December 1962. A little map of the Brecon Mountain Railway. Typical passion train on the original 
Reckon and Melvin line. It's about the priorities awry. First of the Hornby new OO gauge large priorities 262 arrive at the end of June. The click takes a look at the debut model 61. OO class number 6145 in BR black with early crest. These are quite nice. And they're priced from 139.99 DCC ready or with a chip 259.99. So that's quite a price difference. Both got a five pole motor and flywheel and suitable second radius curve, suitable eras three to five respectively. Going from models to the actual real thing. Versatile large varieties. Designer G J Churchwood built by GWR Swindon. Built 1903 to 1906. Only 40 were built. Arrangement 262, 76 point. 7 tons, BR power glass 4MT, driving wheel diameter 5 foot 8 inches or 1.727 meters. And that's the Churchwood 31 stroke 5100 class or the Churchwood 3150 class. They're built between 1906 1908 and only 41 were built. Looking at these old black and white photos you start to wonder if the actual stations or the railway lines still exist today or you know, what, like if you do like a before and after type of thing. Like if you went to the, like went to there, like the Cardiff General 1958, you know, or Swindon Shed, what would it look like now today? COVID-19, a resistant in modelling and a forced lockdown to combat the spread of the coronavirus has led to a market increase in modelling and crafting activities, allowing many of us to rediscover dormant skills, to discover how armed with access to the internet and plenty and the printer, plenty of cards and paper, anyone can produce a lockdown layout in a box. So if you've got time and the money, which most of us have time, showing you how to build it, all the different stages, all the detail in that, and how to make the building, and how to make it look realistic. And then it says that that's how it packs up, the layout packs up neatly into the box file. Oh look, you can win a Hornby bundle worth £120. Question, the limited edition of Formula Class 66, number 66713, Captain Tom Moore, a true British inspiration, is set to a 140,000 for NHS charity. To how many models have been run, been increased to the order of to meet demand? 2,500, 3,000, 3,500. I don't know if I'll enter that, I don't know if I want that. Um, I'll think about it. Anyway. You've got to send your answer till the 28th of August 2020. So you get some like track, animals, people, signal, a level crossing, track plan, trees and bush. I'm trying to be funny here. There's new C Cinderella class like a... Oh no it isn't. While on stage during a local drama group presentation, Dull Ransom was drawn to a new modelling challenge. Albert perhaps a little wisdom for some taste, a little Cinderella thing. The Horn Book of Trains, the first hundred years. A hundred year history of the Hornby brand was just one of the ideas Simon Carlo had for the celebration of the Hornby centenary this year. He turned to his friend, the model railway historian and writer Pat Hammond to write and illustrate the book. And also there's that, the Hornby clockwork train. And look at that. Hornby Duplo train. I need 
brought Hornby just brought out a new version of that. I'll put a link down below. I'll quickly just show you the box. It's still got that, that's a new box. It's still got that little 1950s boy on, on it. As I just said, take a look at the link below and you can see how it comes. I'll show you that my merchant navy just there. I got quite a few years ago. And that's that one in the magazine. I've just noticed something about as you can see in that Hornby double there's not much packaging, much checks and protective protection for the loco because it's, it's, I don't know if it's gone missing, maybe there was, but I don't know, but it like, you know, like shake the box about and it would move out quite easily that loco and long with the tendon, the carriages, don't like you can even see there's a bit of a like a bit of a bump, it's not laying flat. I'll quickly show you how it's done today. There you go, you can see it's all nicely packed in and that's and that's where the loco went and there and there's where the two carriages went and you see it's all safely so nothing can be get chucked about inside the box and we're back to the magazine sliding doors mk3s brand new collection of the mk3 sliding door carriages for gwr cross country and scott rail hst formations has been released by hornby oh, that's interesting so that's saying that the doors actually like slide open and close there is light at the end of the tunnel time coha shares his thoughts on the effect of the global pandemic this is basically what he thinks about what's going on and then the exclusive club benefit for the uh, hornby collector and lastly connect with hornby so that's that the uh, hornby collector is 124 summer 2020 thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it a bit interesting I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.